Okay, Falk. Uh, we'll go here a motion to adopt the agenda. I so move. Wait, it's my wire. <laughs> uh, second. Okay, those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, we'll go down the jury oh, discussion items. Give them the mic. Oh, Mike. How's everyone today? Good. Well, Mike gets ready here. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, I'm lagging here. Okay. I'm going to lose my... I need to run out and get my agendas to run. What did you lose? My agenda is running somewhere. or they're invested in the chamber or they're invested in Seroptimist or you know and so you can't you wow. can't have somebody on there that you know for a fact may be applying. Right. And that takes a lot of the people you you know you see all the time out of it. Oh um, what about somebody like Ruthie Simpson? Mike your work session one I think is the third one. Talk. That's where mine was, and we're just there. Okay. Yeah, Paige. Yeah. She and her husband live in Pine Creek. Well, oh, that would yeah. excuse her. And, and, she, she and she's no longer a member of Seroptimus. She couldn't be on it. She doesn't live here. Does right. it have to be the town thing? Yeah. Does it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know. <laughs> I hate that. Sorry. Okay, first. It's not her that I dislike for. I dislike it for people like. Uh, let's say Eleanor Fitzgerald mm -hmm. who would be great on it and she owns a home here in town mm -hmm. and she owns a home in Plush. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. so, so we'll but means it's our money you would think that we would want it. Go with a lodging tax advisory committee. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I don't even know who all was on that committee. There's there is nobody. nobody. That's the problem. That's the problem. We're well, trying to find people to go on it. Yeah. And I have to admit, I forgot what the rules are. <laughs> well, I think that's one thing we can establish too, because if it's somebody we do need, need to have to established, that. so that if we get somebody yeah. coming in, we have a job description kind of thing to show them. Yeah. So it's in town residents. I mean, that hasn't been done, but you would think because it's an in town committee, but that's up to council to decide. Well, that. that's yeah. That's that. Well. Uh, I mean, that would be nice, but, you know, other people may be interested in that. I don't know why you might, but they have to be in town. If we could say one position from the county, from someone who lives in the county. I don't think we need that. I think we need to be yeah, in town. Yeah, we need that's, bodies. That's we need bodies. Yeah. Well, I think we can get bodies, and I, I think if we direct our efforts towards that. I have visited with one person. I didn't have a chance to visit with her see if she wanted to visit with her husband, but she was interested to ask me about it, and that's Danae Bauer. Mm -hmm. And Danae is very versed on our heritage. Yeah. I think heritage is a very important part. What was her last name? Bauer. It's Danae Sims. Right. Is that Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. It's B-A-E-R. Yeah. Hey, Dara. Hey, Dara. And I, I don't know what she would she would fall under, but we had talked of uh, perhaps having some different categories. Well, I'm in a meeting of a member at so, large, uh, and then a member is it of real quick. Yeah, tourism industry. Uh -huh. And I don't know if KK would be. I mean, he owns the majority of the oh, town, no, no. but I think we should. And we talked about having someone from the lodging industry. Well, so I think we should. Too. If we direct our efforts towards that it should be someone in town for sure and uh, I know yeah, the guy that's that. over at the Lakeview Lodge I know KK but I don't know if he has enough time but oh, it's I think if we online. extend efforts or the mayor extends efforts 
to see if we can recruit these people. It shouldn't be hard. You know, I, I think it needs to be like view oriented and there's still an awful okay, lot of dollars no, that my email is in the mix, you have to text it to me. And ours need to be directed Because I changed providers. In the town of Lake. Mm -hmm. So. so uh, Okay, all right. If you'll do Those that, then I'll try that tonight. Had. Give me your home phone so I can call and let you know. How many, you know, for, for how many people were we talking about having on the committee? Five, or five. Five okay. is, I think it's too large. If you okay. try and I yeah. will try it when I get to the town council. And if you're having problems, you know. five, <laughs> five okay. might stretch it to, I five. Five. You'll be to try to find more. I the The other tourism industry that are the other industry in town that comes to mind that I know that tourists frequent quite often is the restaurant and you know, I, I, I'll just throw out uh, maybe Jose uh, Woodrum who is at Jose's uh, El Aguila Real and also at Jerry's restaurant Jerry's. so you know he would be a good person I, I know Jose I can talk to him or the mayor or someone else but I think if we direct our efforts to that, we can come up with a good, strong board. Yeah. yeah, we've got to get it done. We already have people coming in to ask for funding or are see where we are, are we? with our we funds. Well, we already have gotten it. some, some yeah. funds. How much do we, did we get from them the first payment out? That's quite bad. Well, something that we, we Four, also... 5000 It was more than that. Oh, well, yeah. 20 it was, it was only 20. Yeah. So it I was right the budget. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I couldn't look in there. Yeah. The, the other thing that we had, okay. had talked about is to give up the funds that we get to where some of those funds could stay in house for the council or reverted to have a little bit of funds available for different things that pop up because the tax advisory board I would think and that's in my I guess experience in the past is they should be trying to generate requests from the community and those who would like to see events created that would draw people to our community or to complement events that are already happening in our community. So they need to be diversified in that regard. You have to be really careful with that. You don't have, you can't build up a slush fund. It has to be, I think, my understanding is that it has to be paid for in a certain number of you know, you've only got so much time before you turn it over. Oh yeah, you know it should be, and that's what the largest tax advisory boards do. Thirty percent would then go into our general fund, right? right? You yeah. don't want to. No, uh, that wouldn't even be touched. The thirty percent is set aside, percent. and that's yeah. for the town. Yeah. Yeah. So you're just saying to have uh, the other seventy percent. Okay, when we get uh, uh, a request from the round of people who want us to uh, do something besides, and we'd have a fund that would help us pay for that. Is that what you're talking about, maybe? Well, I, I'm trying to think of how you want this. That's not a good example. <laughs> well, then well, you someone else, maybe so. But I, I'll just I'll just say this: the, the Roundup Club coming to us to ask for our funds. I realize they've got a big event coming up. They came and asked for a minimal request. We granted it by letting them use, and I know the signs are still up. But uh, we let them use our signage, and. They paid for the, you know, and, and so those are their signs, I guess. But the thing of it is, is we need to complement their events. But they're funded by county lodgers tax funds that are generated right here from I, the I'm town sure of Lakeview. Lodgers tax funds come from the town of Lakeview, yeah. and they're going did directly they go to, to. Did they go to the Roundup? They go to the Chamber of Commerce and to the Roundup. Well, not to okay. the Roundup Club, but to the Fair So, and just so you know. <coughs> Uh, the last time we did this, uh, we had 18,000 in there. So, and I'm sure there, you know that was the last. You know, the last <coughs> year. Okay, so it's staying right on line as Darwin said. So. Yeah. That's all I remember. I, yeah. That's what I remember. Yeah. It was right.
right in there. I, so I, if you want to, I, I'm not opposed to the idea of having a fund set aside so that we could grant smaller things as they came up. Mm -hmm. No, I, I think we should. But I want, we need to really check that out because if you don't handle that money right there, all of Well, they <coughs> can be released on, on like, like a quarterly basis if they're unused. A fourth of the funds could be released to the, the advisory yeah, board let's check that, that might have more requests, or the town council would get requests in the interim. I would imagine that most of the requests, the way that I've seen it done before, are fielded at one time of the year. You would go out and you tell people that would like to see some of those yeah. funds put to use. They come to you, request those funds for the usage, and then you know pretty much what's been requested, and you know what the town has to, to deal with left over anyway. So we need to get that form, I need to get that form established so that they, you know, people come in and request, they would have an actual form filled out, come in and request, you know, request a meeting or whatever before the advisory committee. So, yeah. And then uh, when we're making up this form for the advisory, um, the idea is that they hear requests first, pass on ones that they feel are uh, applicable to the process, I guess, and then they come before us and we make the final decisions. Is that still how it That's works? That's my understanding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would need to be yeah. council approved yeah. no matter what they recommend, because they're just a, a recommendation yeah. type board advisory. Right. And then like the stuff that goes in the, the general fund, like the 30%, like we're looking on their website trying to get everything going on. Yeah, that was a good could be something really good if we can use some of those funds for our website. I think that's been talked about a little bit. That 30 that percent is yeah. whatever you whatever we need. Yeah. And I think if you put our website promotionally yeah. the website could be funded by some of the 70 percent. Oh it well, I, I feel like yeah, it's if you're doing it it's, it's a promotional site or is to a large degree a promotional site for the town or city. Because we're trying to get it user friendly, it's not quite there yet. But mm -hmm. but as you develop it, if you're heading in that direction, you yeah. qualify. So. So what we what we need to do is we need to set up uh, a list of rec guidelines mm -hmm. for the. Uh, advisory board set up uh, a form for the um, people who are applying. So you might let's check with um, Ann Crumrine because okay. she's got a pretty good form that we could maybe change a little bit to fit ours, okay. but it's the one that works for the cultural coalition. Okay, and in that it says. You know, it has to be with heritage, children, you know, whatever. And it's mostly tourism type things too, so or you know, benefiting. So that might be that. And start canvassing for members. Are we having a board of three or five or what? Five? Five. Oh, wow. And hopefully we can get five. Mm -hmm. We can, but I think it, like you're right. We we'll want to talk to the motels and the restaurants. Yeah. Get somebody from them, and some. Uh, we need somebody who's business, maybe business owner in town, so retail outlets, or and uh, and then one at large. <laughs> well, we have had one application, and that's Tom Batty. But he, right, and that's he, and that he, would be retail. He cover the business portion, you know. Yeah. That's, that's the only true application. But we've had a letter of point interest. Okay. Yeah. But somebody like Mr. Batty is mm -hmm. so involved in the the uh, bike things mm -hmm. and trying to support that, then he comes very close to being that edge of somebody who is wanting them with the funds and is on the board and that we can't have. Yeah, so we'll have to have some kind of way to get around that. I, I mean not around it, but how do you deal with it? Because well, yeah, I think everybody in town is going to be affiliated with something in some way. It's an advisory council. Keep yeah. that in mind. And that advisory council is just making a recommendation. This is the decision right here. Mm -hmm. And so they're not making a decision. They're only recommending to the council. So it's my understanding and that that would be five. accepted. Yes. 
So those are the things we need to. Passed the ordinance establishing this laundry tax. Um, but it probably had some language as to the committee itself. Um, and if it didn't, at least there was some discussion about it. And I think that you know, it was appropriate that the committee you know, follow some kind of bylaws that kind of give them the direction and authority that they're supposed to have. I know when we're going through all that, those motions and, and getting prepared to vote on the larger tax that you have some information on the community. Yeah, I've got some. Yeah, so, so I think, you know, it would be, nice to, it'd be nice to just review those quickly and, yeah, good. and I don't know where we're But I can come down and visit with each of you. I'll yeah. be glad to go over them with you. Just pick one that's closest to what we want and we can dovetail into what, yeah, yeah. what we want. You know, I think that's the most important part of this whole committee to me is that they're following they the guidelines and they, yeah. they know the parameters that they serve on. Yeah, I, I want something very much there for them to give them. Yeah. And that's Where something you do have time to do in this work section. If you want to briefly go through it, that's fine. But you do have time. Yeah. I think out of this work session, I wouldn't come to look over what a committee might be formed under mm -hmm. bylaws, but unless I had that draft to look up prior to this, but simply having the committee is something I think we've, we've asked for, yeah. we've, we've advertised, I know you advertised yeah, for it, so it's just a matter of re-advertising it and then, you know, maybe share some of that information yeah. we can now I'll, I'll next I'll meeting just kind of go over and say, hey, yeah, this looks good yeah. enough, and, okay. you know, a couple of tweaks here and there, and I think, yeah, another quick work session we could probably hear it out in a couple of minutes. Okay. And just so you know, we're talking about that lodging tax that we had right. to get out there, so, so cool. you, you guys are informed. We started collecting in April of this year, and we should have 75-ish in that neighborhood by the end of the year. I don't feel we're putting it off too much by letting that accrue, and then we will have the first six months of the year that we have in the fiscal, current fiscal year, and that's going to be I think because some of those requests are going to be agreed on on past. Sure. But if we could get it together in the next couple of months, okay. as far as an advisory board, like you say, the next meeting, kick around some of the different communities, bylaws, isn't burned up. Too many answers on that for me. Do you hear anything else on that? Okay. Do, you do, you do, you want, do you want us to, do we want to set a date for which we'll be looking at something like that? Well, the 23rd. Work station or something yeah. like that? 23rd I, is our next meeting. 23rd, so we could have some proposals like yeah. that you were sure. talking about. Sure, so look at it. Yeah. That. That's, I, that's I would feel yeah. better if we were trying to make that happen in, in that direction. And in the meantime, each one of us needs to see if we can find somebody who wants Some to serve on something like this. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Let's move on down to B. Dollar measure 3% tax on marijuana retailers. And I believe that on the ballot. Yes. Okay. Is it you've already applied for it? Or? We've already, it's on, it, it'll be on there, bring it out. But we, what we need to make sure, um, our attorney recommended that we have a special meeting, uh, you know, where people can come and we can really push it and get, let them know what the 3% what tax is. It doesn't affect anybody that's not a retailer, so, um, but he suggests do that and I would like to do that possibly that same night like later in, you know maybe right at 6 or something so oh, that night the 23rd on the oh, and the 23rd. so that maybe we can you know because we need to be out there let people know what it's about yeah is 
that soon enough? The ballots will be mailed on the 19th. They go ahead on the 18th. Yeah, that's what I think. I think I just saw that. Maybe we should have it. Because we really need to have a meeting where people understand what it's all about. I'm good whenever you guys, you know, next week's fine. Like. Well, a lot of people fill out their ballots and as soon as they get them. Yeah. yeah, and so I think that it might be a good thing to have it next week because... The 16th is Tuesday, I don't yeah. know what, but yeah. the 17th is. If we would have it next Tuesday, the 16th, then they get their ballots. So then right. we're saying... Soon after that. We'll right. get yeah. this tomorrow. Yeah. And, yeah. and then if, if we could do a later meeting so more people can... There. And I'll put something in the paper too. Mm -hmm. and That's an open house. Too. So we're talking Why? about a special meeting when? On the 16th? 16th, 16th or 15th? So I've got Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday the 16th. All planning commission at night. Okay. That's starting at 6. And you're That's saying better. this should start at 6? I think it's it's a public meeting is yeah. good that yeah, way. It won't be here, but you don't need to. This isn't where we're going to be making decisions. Or yeah, no, it's just yeah. oh, sure. Sure. This question and answer yeah. really what it will be. And will we have our legal counsel there? I would hope so. Let's <laughs> make sure that. Yeah, it'd be nice yeah. to advise him to kind of come with a statement prepared. Yeah. Just kind of. Tell everybody. Yeah. yeah. So these people can get very easily. Confused about what the issue is on the ballot. Now, where do you wait to check? Like, I'm just. 3% tax go. It go into a special fund or is it going to a general fund? Or? It goes into our general fund, but I think we can establish it. The, the stuff that we get right now is supposed to go into the police department, law enforcement. Through the state. Through the state. coming through the state. But we don't have to do that. But if you can designate it or just put it in the general fund. Well, as we talked it's about getting extra money in the, in the fund for our uh, law enforcement, maybe if we dedicate a certain percentage of that 3%, it's automatically there and to build up those reserves. We need it. I'd like to see something to help the pool out as well. Well, in that one, we can go back to to an advisory tax too, a possibility for you know pool things too. So we could do. I mean, you can pull that one. Right, but that's a decision we have to make is where the money's going to go, right? Yep. Is there any way to get? Some kind of estimate on what this might be. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Without getting yeah. too, yeah. you know, nosy. I mean, it might be nice to. Yeah, it doesn't look like guys here. Well, don't you think that top shelf, for instance, you can say would not be nosy, but uh, can you give us kind of a rounded figure of well, what we did last day? Yeah, they've got a report. They have to report it to the state. Just say that where we get the money we've already gotten. We might check with the state. That's what I'm thinking. What, what we should be able to get. Well, nice to know those numbers before we have a hearing. Yeah. 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 yeah because yeah. if they report their income yeah. to the state, then that's where we get the percentage you know, that we've already gotten. So there should be some gauge. I think some figures there anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's let's anticipate maybe some of the questions. If we put a three percent tax on marijuana sales. Is that tax then going to be passed on to their customers? Yes, it is. Sure. It, it, yeah, it is. So it, it will go from 17 to, to 20. 17 to 20 percent is what it, it has increased. The state already has 17. And you can do up to 3 percent, and that's what we discussed and decided about right. the 3 percent. Yeah, so I mean, some communities do have to ask, but the majority of Chose three percent. Okay, so but if we're going to have a meeting on Tuesday, let's get our act together. 
if you need some help, call us. <laughs> so, I suppose it would be like, what, how much do we anticipate? What are we going to do with it? Those kind of questions, too. Yeah, yeah. I think that's so. legitimate. Yeah. I mean, if I'm going to vote for something that's going to raise my costs, I want to know where that money is going. Well, that part, you know. <laughs> it would be a real first. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, any more under that? Okay, we'll go to C. Invite to the gathering place for candidates, town council, county commissioners, and other elected officials. 6 p.m. October the 11th, the gathering place. The place going to be big enough? I don't know. I'm not sure how they're going to do it because it seems like it's pretty. This simple. is this is not the. This is not forum. a forum. Yeah, yeah, this is not the forum that the AUW, uh, AUW mm -hmm. usually right. puts on. Still, I think it's more of an informal thing. But it it's is still a meet and greet yeah. thing. But they're, not, they're, sit, they're not sitting down in the panel. James James Williams is what is organized. Heard someone told me today, but I don't know who that well, he came sure. in and made sure that they had. Let you guys know about it. Yeah. Yeah. So he's organizing it. Mm -hmm. So do you know if he's going to give like each person a time to speak, or is it just kind of? It's kind of just a question. No, I have a little knowledge. I was going to say, <laughs> are you, are you, have they contacted it's, you, Mike? Yeah. They haven't got they haven't got all the rules in place yet. But basically what it's going to be is somewhat, you have two minutes to interact with a person. So if a person walks up to you and asks you a question, you have two minutes to answer before the next person can ask a question. So you're not going to be up in front of the crowd giving your... No, not the, no. There are no speeches that I know of. <clears throat> they haven't, they didn't tell me about that. So. So it isn't more of a meet and greet. It's more of a meet and greet. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, glad I put it in here. That's a little different. Yeah, it is. I would expect an invitation to do those kind of things. I would have expected one too, but I didn't get one. I just. Yeah. So maybe they have. That's crazy. Yeah. Two days away. He didn't contact each candidate personally. No, they. No. Just made an announcement that it's there. I just heard through the grapevine, and I called somebody that is in the know. And mm -hmm. I would expect that they should have, or would still. Should have. Yeah. In fact, I'll talk to her. Yeah. Well, I I don't know, but he did. I know that James just came in. It was yesterday, but, and I think it was yesterday. I listened to about it. So. So somebody well, either in And was I see it printed somewhere? What was it printed at? Because I saw it. There was, was it in the paper? In, was there something in the no. Maybe it was on Lakeview announcements. That's I've seen it, it online, but I can't remember. I where think it was. Lakeview yeah. announcements. We've been kind of out of touch for a little while. Uh -huh. We're on. Vacation. We've been gone for 20 days. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I did think it was on Lakeview announcements. But if you don't get on Lakeview announcements, you wouldn't That's know. Yeah. Right. Then you don't know about it. No, I, I, I did not show it before me. today, but I can't yeah. remember where I am. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, do we have anything else on that? Okay. Is there any other items that council or anybody needs to discuss? Or any interest? Oh, I, we had a grant pending with the state on recreational items. Or the, which one? The kitty part. Yeah. That we didn't get that. Okay, I didn't know how that, it, I didn't yeah. figure we had, but I just, yeah. that no. was something that we didn't We didn't get that, so I'll try to reapply next year. And it may be better to reapply either one or the other, instead of both, they were too far separated for all the funding we could get, but maybe making the kitty park the Scotch park, you know, mm -hmm. and I still think that's a good idea. Yeah. Get funds for it. Yeah, because I think that would be great. 
I think it would be great, but I think that heating the pool. Yeah. Well, we try. I mean, we are. We they will have the heat pump in this next year. They will what? In, in, you know that heat pump that we create. <laughs> that thing. Yeah. Whatever it is, I just do that. No. <laughs> the heat exchanger. Sorry. They but, will have that for the pool next year. Yeah, they got it. They just didn't have time to get them in. Rebuilding it. I, since we have other items on here, if it's all right, I would like to comment that I did attend the David Board of Consumers and Darwin did as well. He probably got some comments to do you know, better than yeah. I, but it was very informative and I just would make mention that uh, it was kind of unconventional in regards to the people who were speakers at the different conferences and perhaps we should keep an open eye for our community as far as some who are speakers and some who have things that are available online. Uh, and I'm speaking of things that a better build or a better city, or I, I forget the exact name. Uh, but the guy was from Oak, Oak Ridge, Texas. Uh, oh, Oak. I don't know what you're talking about. The keynote speaker? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, he had some very innovative ideas, and, and we wouldn't want to conform to, <laughs> to some of the things that, that he was saying that should be done, but it is in regards to creating a better community, and, and so I, I think that we should keep it open. And I have heard comments that there is a need for a main street here in Lakeview, and I keep getting that same comment and have for years. So I think that the main street ever needs to be diversified and perhaps if we have to turn to cheaper alternatives, this might be something that we would, a better block, I think is like a better block. And so it's something you can find out uh, online. You might want to look into that. I haven't looked online, but the guy who was the keynote speaker at the counselor's work session was pretty unique. And Well, it, it, I, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> well, it, very, it is. It's, yeah. Like I said, I don't think we would want to conform to to some of the things that they did in that community. And Darwin, you know what I'm speaking of, where they just totally blew off every ordinance and every regulation and you know, totally broke down. You know, I, and it was for the benefit that they approached it in the right direction. But mm -hmm. it would take a lot of thought before you went to that extreme in our community. I think. So, but unique ideas and innovative things to do in our community that could enhance in a lot of ways. I think. Well, in Lakeview Community Partnership was working on that Main Street downtown, and I'm not on that anymore. Right at the moment. Initially, it, it was more Initially, it that. started and at the Main Street, but it it's kind of off there. Right? Well, it's, it should still be, and, and that's what it was set up for, and I'm sure their bylaws state that, but it's kind of gone down one avenue. Yeah. I'll, I'll Presenters had PDFs available, you know, or the PowerPoint, whatever. Um, and so I downloaded everyone, even though I didn't, I obviously could be in four or five different places at once, but downloaded all of them from anyone that we had. And so I have all of those, I'm glad to share with you guys. But they were super good. Were they good? Oh, um, yeah. It was, I had been in 10 years since I was in, uh, on the Burn City Council. Um, you know, now I've been. Any of those that are applicable to any of the things well, that we have going on? Well, absolutely. There's tons of, you know, I think the ones that are the best, you know, dynamic, effective city councils, um, budgeting, 